<laughs> right, so what we're doing today is two things. One is time series and one is the consumer price index. And they are funny little topics. And the reason they are in here is because the New Zealand Society of Chartered Accountants, in their wisdom, decided that every accountant needs to know this. So I thought, fair enough. That's what they think. It's, an inter it's quite interesting, so the rest of you who aren't going to be chartered accountants, I think you'll find it quite interesting anyway. And you have to know it to pass the quizzes, so what the heck. Okay, now the, fir the first bit is about time series. And first of all, you just need to understand what a time series is. And it's simply a, s a set of measures that are taken over equal intervals, um, sort of data collection that's done in a regular sort of way. It's not getting focused. Anyway, so your data could be yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, or hourly. I guess you could do it secondly, but I can't imagine why. So those are the main ones that you would collect your time series. So there are different things that happen in these series, and what I expect you to be able to get out of this is what a time series is. You should be able to plot one, but you should know how to do that by now because you've done quite a bit of plotting already. You should be able to look at one of these graphs and say, yes, this has got trend and seasonality, or it's got trend but no seasonality, seasonality but no trend, neither, or a glitch or whatever. And so that if somebody in your business comes and shows you a time series graph, you can see what's happening and it will be informative to you. Okay, so these are things it can have as trend, seasonality, cyclical behaviour, noise, and explainable variation, such as natural disasters or the beginning of GST. Okay, so 